Earlier this week, we told you about an officer who gunned down a 75 year old woman in her home. Tonight, we have new details of that shooting, including that woman's daughter frantically asking police to protect her from her mother. Earlier this week, Albatar Eno, still grieving, wished Las Cruces police had been able to calm her grandmother, Amelia Baca, without killing her. I myself says this could have been done differently. That's as much as I can, I can add to that. But the 911 tapes released this evening paint a scary picture of a family fearing for their lives. Last Saturday evening, Baca's daughter was hiding in a room in their home with her young daughter, desperately asking police to protect them from Baca. I really need an officer, an ambulance or someone because my mother's getting aggressive right now. She's 75 and she has dementia. Dementia, I'm hiding in a room because she's threatening to kill me. In fact, Baca has a knife. Okay, do you know what she's doing with the knife? Um, hitting the floor saying she's gonna kill me. Minutes later, Baca throws hot water at the door. Her daughter pleads with Baca through the door, telling her she's scaring the young girl. The first officer to arrive gets the women out of the house. Police for me. Can you guys step out for me? The officer tries to calm Baca, who confronts him with a large knife in each hand. The officer repeatedly asks Baca to put down the knives, but she refuses. She moves toward the officer, who fires his weapon, killing Baca. An ugly end to an evening filled with fear. The officer who shot Baca is a nine-year veteran of the Las Cruces Police Department with more than 70 hours of crisis intervention training. As standard procedure, the incident is being investigated by the officer-involved incident task force.